we frequently express one quantity as part of another quantity. For example, 15 out of 35 people voted. You need to answer 6 of the 10 questions. Of 38 students, 27 passed the class. So remember, a fraction expresses how much of a whole. Since these are part of a larger quantity, we can express them as a fraction. And here it's important to note that the part is the numerator, while the of is the denominator. So from 15 out of 35, we get a fraction 15 35ths of the people voted. 6 out of 10, that's 6 tenths of the questions. And of 38, 27 passed, well that's 27 38ths. Remember, for the fraction form, we can find a decimal and then a percentage. So, remember the fraction a beasts is equivalent to a divided by b. To find the percentage, multiply the decimal by 100. So, if you need to answer 6 out of 10 questions, what percentage do you need to answer? First, we'll find the decimal. That's 6 tenths, or 6 divided by 10 which will be 0.1. Then convert to a percentage by multiplying by 100. And as always, don't forget to include that percentage symbol. How about our passing rate? So that's 23 out of 37, so 23 37 which is a quotient, 23 divided by 37. And again, if you're using a calculator, the best practice is to find this value and then leave it on the calculator and compute the next step, which will be multiplying by 100. And that will give us, and then at the end, we'll round to 62%. Now, we can find a fraction of by multiplication. One-fifth of 250 is one-fifth times 250. Since a percentage is a fraction with a denominator of 100, we can find the percentage of by multiplication. So if we want to find 8% of 200, so remember, a percentage is a fraction whose numerator is a percentage and whose denominator is 100. So 8% of 200, well that's 8 one hundredths of 200, and that's a fraction of, so that's a multiply, 8 one hundredths by 200. And so remember, the fraction a beasts can be treated as a divided by b, and so this fraction 8 one hundredths is the same as 8 divided by 100, which will be 0.08. And we can multiply 0 0.08 by 200 and get our final answer 16. What's important to remember is oftentimes when you're given a percentage, it's rounded in some way. So suppose that in a class of 27 students, 81% passed. How many students passed? Since 81% of the students passed, then we want to find 81% of 27. That's 81 one hundredths times 27. And we compute. And so 21.87 students passed. Wait, wait, not so fast. Since you can't have a fraction of a student, this probably meant that 22 students passed. We can verify that our rounding is correct by computing the percentage. If 22 students passed, then the fraction of students who passed is 22 27 which we can compute as, and converting it into a percentage we get, which is what we claimed, 81%. So our rounding is probably correct. 
One important thing is to be very careful to distinguish between two similar looking questions. What is X percent of Y? And what percent is X of Y? So what percentage of 200 is 8? Now here, since we don't know the percentage, otherwise we wouldn't be asked the question, we're looking for the percentage, which means we're looking for a fraction. So the only fraction that we can start with here is 8 is 8 two hundredths of 200. And so we convert this into a percentage. And so 8 is 4% of 200.